physicsinfo.co.uk One in the series of Physics GCSE support videos. Newton's three laws, starting with Newton's first law. A body at rest will remain at rest. A body in motion will continue with a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external force. With both teams pulling with equal force, the rope isn't going anywhere. Some skateboarders, there's a slight slope in the road which just about overcomes the friction of the wheels, and they're travelling pretty much at constant velocity. are almost friction free, but the friction between the skater and the ground is a much larger force. A force is needed here to stop the car from moving. It's not easy to stop things without friction. But then again, it's not easy to start things either, as this video shows. Don't forget, friction is a force too. Unbalanced forces result in acceleration, or more properly, force is equal to the rate of change of momentum. Another example of uh, acceleration with Usain Bolt breaking the world record in Berlin. Watch the last Fair. few seconds. They get away first time. Tyson Gay right alongside Usain Bolt, but here he goes, streaking away already. It's Bolt all the way. He's looking round at Gay. Watch the clock. It's gold for Bolt. Bolt accelerates away from the rest of the field and crosses the line at 12.4 metres per second. So if you like, you could work out his acceleration, because you know he does it in 9.58 seconds. One final example that can be used to link both the first and the second law. When a skydiver jumps out of a plane at 3,000 metres, her speed goes through some big changes.
to explain how all these changes in speed occur, you need to think about the forces involved. So what's happening to the forces as you fall through the air? While sitting in the plane, the lift from the plane balances the weight of the skydiver and she goes nowhere. Immediately you jump out of the plane, the downward force, weight, is much greater than the air resistance, so the skydiver accelerates towards the ground. Air resistance increases with increasing velocity. Eventually the two forces are balanced and a first terminal velocity is reached. Where the forces are balanced, the skydiver continues at a constant velocity, and this is an example of Newton's first law. When the ripcord is pulled, there is an increase in drag or air resistance, and this slows the skydiver down. The forces are now unbalanced. Newton's second law says that unbalanced forces result in an acceleration, or in this case a deceleration, a slowing down of the skydiver. Eventually, the two forces, weight and drag, are again balanced and a second constant velocity is reached. The skydiver is now travelling slow enough to hit the ground. The third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law again, but this time we're going to use two similarly mass objects. Joe and I have about the same mass, so Joe, get into a ball, I'll do the same. I'm going to face you this way so that I don't throw you into something you can't see. Right. Now I'm going to get into a ball behind Joe, and I'm going to apply a force to him. Notice that the, when I applied a force to Joe, it, pushed, it accelerated Joe away from me, but I got accelerated away from him as well because the force applied to Joe ended up being the same force that was applied to me. The same thing applies to a rocket. The rocket pushes gases out and the gases push the rocket upwards. Remember, this has nothing to do with the rocket pushing against the air or the ground. There is no air in outer space. Newton's third law can be applied to an equilibrium situation, such as a boy pushing against a wall or a book sitting on a table. It also applies to collisions where momentum is conserved. Newton's cradle is often used uh, to represent the law of conservation of momentum.
the mass times velocity in is equal to the mass times velocity out. So just to recap what we know about Newton's laws, you could add these uh, to pages of an exercise book if you so wished. Starting with the first law. If all the forces are balanced, then an object at rest will remain at rest, whilst a moving object, an object in motion, will continue at a constant velocity. We can use a free body force diagram where all the forces are on one object just to explain this. The forward force thrust is equal to the retarding force, drag, and the lift is balanced by the weight. Weight is a force equal to the mass times the gravitational field strength, g. Second law. Unbalanced forces result in an acceleration. So with the free body force diagram, if the lift is greater than the weight and the thrust is greater than the air resistance, then the plane will move forwards and upwards. It will accelerate forwards and upwards. And of course, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity or the change in velocity over the time taken. If the mass remains unchanged, then you can link the force in the acceleration using the formula F equals MA. The third law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So the book is sitting on the table, the table is pushing up on the book. The same time, third law also says that momentum is conserved. And finally, a look at some of the scientific words and descriptions we've used in this video. Velocity, a vector quantity, which means it has magnitude and direction, and means speed in a given direction. Acceleration, another vector, and this is the change in velocity over time, or the rate of change in velocity. Momentum, yet another vector, and this is equal to mass times velocity. Free body force diagrams representing all the forces acting on one particular body. And finally, Newton's third law pairs, showing the forces acting between two bodies. In equilibrium, the boy pushes on the wall, and the wall pushes on the boy. And that's it. Thank you for watching.